Hi, this is Greg Hurd with the Three Point Conversion, and I'm here at State Farm Arena where tonight the Atlanta Hawks were visited by the Denver Nuggets. And it was a back and forth game, and despite the Hawks able to cut the lead to one late in the fourth quarter, the Nuggets were able to pull away for a 123 115 win. And despite the loss, Coach Lloyd Pierce was proud of how his team competed. Thought I guys competed. Fourth quarter execution was a little tough down the stretch. Um, you know, it's tough. You know, it's Good player, but it's tough when you when you don't get a call. Um, I thought our guys were, were banging and battling just as much as he was, and we were on the other end of the whistle on all of them. And you know, it's hard to tell our guys what to do. You know, when you blitz, you try to send an extra body, and you're exposed to, to offensive rebounds. They didn't have a lot of offensive rebounds, but they got a lot of second chance points, which leads to fouls, um, and that's really where where the game kind of separated for them. Um, you know, I thought we were great offensively. It was good to see Kevin Trey. DeAndre really balanced it out, 18 for 39 for three, John in the pick and roll. Uh, we had the looks we wanted. We knew what we were doing offensively, uh, but just trying to get a stop down the stretch and trying to get a whistle down the stretch was hard for us tonight. Trey Young led the Hawks with 29 points, and John Collins had 17 points. And here's what they both had to say about hanging in with the second seed in the Western Conference. We, we, we knew we were going to be in the game the entire time. We were ready for it. Um, we just tried to do our best to execute. A couple shots didn't fall, a couple, you know, another, some more tough calls down the stretch. And like I always say, that's just part of being a competitor um, in, in this league, and you have to sort of work through it. They're a really good team. Um, that's, that's kind of what we did. I mean, the same game plan we had coming in, uh, what we did last game. Um, I mean, it worked. So uh, tonight, Yoke just had it going. And for us, I mean, we switched up a little bit throughout the game, but I mean, he's, he's an all star, he's a, he's a great player. Um, they have a lot of other really good players that, uh, on that team. So, uh, I mean, he, he, can, he can go. So, I mean, there's it's not much you can do when a guy's rolling like that. We were able to talk to Denver Nuggets coach Mike Malone, and his team only committed four turnovers tonight, and he felt that was very important in getting the victory. That's uh, had a lot to do with it. I think that's a great point. You know, um, 27 assists, four turnovers. I believe the last time we played them, we only had three turnovers. So uh, when you can play a clean game on the road, not beat yourself, and more importantly, not fuel their break and give them runouts and easy baskets, that's definitely going to be uh, in your favor. So uh, to do that on the road uh, was definitely a big part of our win tonight. Nikola Jokic had a game-high 47 points, and he spoke about setting the tone early in the game. I mean, I never know that. I mean, I just... Uh... I just uh, like the flow of the game, and I, I like how I'm feeling during the game. So um, I think I made like my first two, three shots, and then I went on the line a little bit. So the, the, I think the, the energy, the kind of the flow, was really good for me. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, I think it was not, uh, it was not um, really a tactical game. Does that make any sense? It was really a lot of free game. So. I kind of like that, so I think I, I was uh, I was just scoring a lot. The Hawks will be back in action on Wednesday to face the Houston Rockets, go on the road for their next two games against the Washington Wizards and the Brooklyn Nets, and then they'll be back here on January 14th to face the Phoenix Suns. So please keep following us at the Three Point Conversion at the threepointconversion.com and all of our social media. It's where fans' opinions matter.